Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing great today. In this video, we are going to check conjunctions. Okay, so you already know something about conjunctions because you know fanboys, you know ISO Awabub, but maybe you don't know exactly the name because uh, the name is not a fanboys, actually. Those are coordinate. So coordinate conjunctions are fanboys. Let's remember what are conjunctions. Are connecting words, uh, they join part of a sentence. And in this lesson, we're going to check two. Coordinate, as I said, and a new one for you. Correlative, okay? Remember that you need to take notes of everything that you see here, okay? So let's start. Coordinate. Uh, as you know, fanboys, uh, we use them to join equal sentence bars, single words, phrases, and independent clauses. Uh, also, as a note, when two full clauses are joined, they are usually separated by a comma, not by a conjunction. But well, let's check them. Here we have and, or, but, nor, so. We don't have all the fanboys, but we're going to check just this, because these are the ones that are test on the TOEFL test. But well, and we use it with, when we want to express addition. For example, uh, he washed his car and, here's the conjunction, cleaned out the garage. So what is the addition here? Well, these two actions, washed and cleaned, okay? The next conjunction, or, how do we use this when we want to express choice or possibility? That's the use. For example, this plant can be grown in a house or in a garden. Here we're giving uh, options, okay? The next one, but uh, this is for opposition. For example, he brought, brought his wallet, but forgot his checkbook. It's completely like the opposite of a first situation. Nor. Uh, how do we use nor for negation? For example, he's never, uh, he's never taken a class in, in history. Nor. Does he intend to? Okay, it's a negation of a previous action that was mentioned. Uh, the last one. So, how do we use so? Well, I have a note here. It says so is used to join only clauses, not single words or phrases. Uh, remember, what is a clause? A group of words with one subject plus one verb, at least, okay? So, an example with so. It was a bright day. So, I'm sorry, comma here, comma. So, she put on her sunglasses. Okay, as I said, so it's used to join only clauses, clauses. So, subject, ember, okay? Now, uh, correlated conjunctions are two-part conjunctions like coordinate conjunctions. They are used to join clauses, phrases, and words, which is the difference that these uh, correlated conjunctions have two parts. For example, both and not only, but also, either, or, neither, nor. 
So if you're going to use these conjunctions, it's because you are writing these two parts. In the exam, um, you will have some sentences, of course, that you have to complete with the conjunctions. And you need to check that if you're going to use both, on the other side, you have and. The same, I don't know, here, that you're using either and you have or. Uh, if it says nor, you have either here and then nor, of course, that this one is the one that is incorrect, okay? Or according to uh, what is signed. So, let me give you some examples about both and. How are we going to use it? It says addition. For example, both wolves and dogs are members of the same family. Okay, it's an addition of these two types of animals. Uh, the next one, not only, but also. Also, it's an addition. Uh, example, Dominic studied not only math, mathematics, but also computer science. Okay, addition. Either or, uh, choice or possibility. We need either a computer or a cell phone to work in Google Classroom. Okay, so here we have uh, the choice, two choices, computer or cell phone, and we're using either and we're using or, okay? And like the opposite of either and or will be neither nor. Mm, here, neither the TV nor the stereo had been 